work on the starboard solar alpha rotary joint, cleaning and lubricating that joint in preparation for the uh, removal and installation of the uh, 11th and final trundle bearing assembly that's going to be uh, installed on this flight. He covers 11 and 10. with a green light and you said 11.0 for the turns? 11.8. Okay, 11.8 for the turns. So 4.8 and 11.8, thanks. All right, I'm ready for that. Receiving a helmet camera video from Shane Kimbrough as he continues his work on the port side of the space station's solar arrays, getting ready to uh, lubricate the next section of uh, race ring. Okay. That's correct. Meanwhile, uh, Steve Bowen uh, working on the opposite side of the truss structure on the starboard side solar alpha rotary joint, uh, beginning the process of removing and replacing the final of 11 trundle bearing assemblies uh, after cleaning up the race ring of debris and lubricating it. The uh, starboard uh, side of the uh, truss structure. EVA. Go ahead, Eric. Just tagging up with you. You can see Shane's heading out for the uh, ETVCG camera install. And sh I mean, Steve's coming in with the uh, bags from the Sarge and then going to head out to work the contingency. Mission Control Houston, two hours, 46 minutes into today's final spacewalk of the STS 126 mission. A good look at uh, Shane Kimbrough, now in his second spacewalk of his career. Joined by Steve Bowen, wrapping up uh, the third spacewalk of this mission and of his career. All of the work with the starboard solar alpha rotary joint now complete and closed out. The first auto tracking test of uh, the refurbished uh, rotary joint on the right side of the International Space Station. Planned for early tomorrow morning in a window that would begin at around 4.30 a.m. Central Time. Kimbrough, uh, having completed the lubrication of the port solar alpha rotary joint, uh, went back into the Quest airlock to retrieve an external television camera group, essentially a television camera that you see him holding, plus uh, uh, associated hardware uh, with a stanchion that will be installed at uh, what is known as camera port 7 on the nadir or earthward facing side of the port 1 truss of the International Space Station, uh, primarily designed to provide uh, additional video views on behalf of the rendezvous and approach of the uh, new H-2 transfer vehicle, the HTV as it is known, a Japanese cargo ship that will uh, rendezvous uh, with the International Space Station on its maiden flight late next year and be grappled by the Canadarm2 to be berthed on the Nader uh, common berthing mechanism of the Harmony connecting node. As uh, Kimbro works uh, with the installation of that camera group, Bowen now will uh, move to the end cone of the Kibo module uh, to the external facility berthing mechanism. That is the uh, latching mechanism that was extensively tested last Friday by Expedition 18 Commander Mike Fink and Flight Engineer Sandy Magnus during a three and a half hour test of all of the latches and uh, data umbilicals and uh, all of the uh, latching mechanisms uh, commanded uh, from a console inside the new Japanese. 
Japanese Kibo module. One of those latches failed to retract properly, and so um, Bowen will manually uh, work to retract that one latch and set the stage for the installation of a thermal cover over that mechanism. It will not be used again until the STS-127 mission of the shuttle Endeavour next May, which will deliver for mating to that uh, end cone or the back porch of Kibo, a platform upon which uh, a number of Japanese science experiments will be mounted. Steve Bowen uh, moving on uh, to begin the work uh, to uh, retract uh, one of the structural latches on the uh, external facility berthing mechanism on the end cone of the key bow module on the International Space Station that did not retract properly during a comprehensive test uh, conducted last Friday by Mike Fink and Sandy Magnus. Meanwhile, Shane Kimbrough continues uh, his work uh, to install a camera system on the Nader side, uh, or the earthward facing side of the Port 1 truss of the International Space Station, mounting uh, that camera on a stanchion, uh, releasing the pan and tilt mechanism, uh, preparing to connect uh, a number of electrical uh, connections uh, that will uh, lead to the activation of that camera. A good view of Shane Kimbrough out on the port truss of the International Space Station as uh, he is in the home stretch of uh, connecting uh, a number of electrical umbilicals and connector caps associated with the uh, external television camera group uh, that you see uh, rising on that stanchion, a video camera that will provide additional television capability uh, for situational awareness for uh, the rendezvous and grapple of the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle, the HTV, that will be launched from the Tanegashima Space Center in Japan late next year. It will automatically rendezvous with the station, put the brakes on, and be grappled by the Canadarm2 to be berthed on the Nader port of the Harmony connecting node. Steve Bowen in the process of uh, mating connectors uh, for the first of the two uh, global positioning system antennas on the Japanese logistics module on the International Space Station. Okay, copy, Shane. Uh, 11 is complete. Don Pettit and Greg Shamatov have been spending most of the day today with continuing troubleshooting procedures to mount uh, additional brackets to try to further isolate, balance, and uh, provide uh, greater stability uh, for the distillation assembly portion of that complex plumbing system uh, designed to convert uh, urine and condensate as well as wastewater into potable water for the station crew. Thank you. 
commander's seat? Yep, could you just hold there one second? Take it back out of my way. 